Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Today we are taking on the Scarlet Monastery Library. We have uh, an interesting group put together here from the Looking for Group system. We have a level 35 Blood Elf Warlock, a level 31 Blood Elf Priest on DPS, a level 29 Undead Rogue, which is really low for here I think, and a level 31 Undead Priest on Heals. So yeah, we've got kind of a low-level group. This could be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, I also just got Execute, and I'm not sure where I want to keybind this. Let's do that for now. Uh, let's see, I think we have the buffs that we are going to get. Uh, let's check. If you're interested in what gear we have on going into this, I will do a quick run-through here before we get started. That is what we look like. All right, uh, let's get into it. Let's turn our floating health bars on here. Ooh, they've got a nasty stun. Yeah, see, this is what we really don't want. We don't want to be accidentally pulling extra groups, I don't think. Not with the party that we have assembled here today. Yeah, this stun is not going to be good. <laughs> this is not good. Uh, yeah, we have this ad back here that's kind of just blasting away now. We keep getting further and further along the hallway. And he, he's also healing, which uh, we would want to stop that. I want to try to pull him back here a little bit. So that we don't pull any more ads. Uh, I don't really want to fight all of those guys, honestly, with, with low level. I think the rogue might even be having trouble getting hits, like actual hits in. Uh, the thing that I like most so far is I like the healer's mana. Yeah, he seems to be doing pretty good. I also like that we're generating enough rage, even though he's probably having to bubble us uh, from time to time. Uh, now this, I feel like this is going to be a 3-pull no matter what, right? I kind of want people to have more mana back in case this gets out of hand. There's that stun, that lovely, lovely stun. Even we're being parried quite a bit at level 32. Well, let's just say I am glad that we have the Warlock. I do want to give the Warlock a chance to drink here. Yeah, that, that stun is going to 
be the death of us in here at some point. Uh, I can kind of predict that already. Okay, we gotta get her! Okay, well... Who is over here? Let's pull you back this way. Now, do, do I drop threat? No, I don't think I drop threat, but, you know, I'm not generating more threat while I'm stunned like that, so... That's a bad thing. Uh, who do I want to pull here? I feel like I should just be able to pull you. Like that. I wonder if the rogue is going to be able to hit the last boss at all. Hmm. Alright, this ought to be fun. Let's give everybody the opportunity to drink to full mana here. There we go, I see mana bars going up, that's what we want. 
Uh, now I do have a shield wall. Requires battle stance or... Okay, so I can't execute in defensive stance. I do have shield wall. It's on a 30 minute cooldown. I think we just save it for the last boss unless things go like horribly awry at some point. Maybe for like a mega pull, like a big accidental pull. I think we're good. Let's get in here. I feel like maybe getting the ads down first would have been a better idea so that they weren't just like punching me in the face the entire time. But uh, yeah, maybe next time we do this I will mark a couple of the dogs for Skull and X. Especially in like an underpowered group like this, I feel like having them hitting us the whole time uh, and getting the healer completely out of mana is probably not smart. Yeah, I'm gonna learn from that one. Alright. Uh, a dog whistle, perfect. Something that literally nobody really needs. Hmm. Uh, we do need to give the healer time to get mana back if they are so inclined. Uh, okay, that seems decent. Yeah, I'm gonna pull her back here. I I'd rather not aggro this group with her. I'd rather just get them on their own. Alright, we've picked up a buddy. I don't think we got him. I mean, we have somebody who seems to want to mark, so I I'm gonna let them go for it. I would happily do it just to mark the healers, but... Yeah, without burst damage, it's really hard to stop the runners. And the runners are gonna cause lots and lots of problems. like they are currently doing.
All right. Well, that was fun. Now we all need mana. I'm glad the healer is helping out with a little bit of DPS. I think that's actually great. Uh, yeah, this this helm, Frost Reaver Crown, four strength, fifteen stamina, four spirit. We have strength and agility. This would probably be like a good straight up tanking helmet, but I feel like we're doing fine. I don't really. It's it's binding when equipped, so we can't. I'm not gonna need on it. Oh, we we got it anyway. Uh, I'm gonna sell that because it's bind on equip. That's actually great. I mean, it's really good. We I'd almost use it. I'm gonna stop talking about it now. And I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pull the next group. Let's come back here. I guess we should loot everything just in case we get any more random drops. Although I guess that helm probably came from the chest, didn't it? Uh, do I want to charge in? I guess we can. I don't. I don't really see why not. Maybe I should pull him back a little bit, um, just so that when he runs, we have enough time to kill him. Okay, he ran the he ran the right way. All right, we've got this room here that I'd very much like to clear. How many guys are inside of that room? Three of them. If I charge in and I stand right in the doorway, I should still be in line of sight. We're probably clearing a little bit more slowly than a group that's more at level, but I feel like it's going well. We've gotten to a couple of difficult spots and we've been able to fight our ways out, so that's good. Uh, I don't want to charge this group because I think I could pull ads on either side. I'm going to yank them back here. Thank you. 
Um, those are actually better than what we have on. So, I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna equip them. And I'm gonna be grateful. Uh, seems like we're gonna pull her just, yeah, with our face, basically. No mana burning. Mana burning is very, very rude and I won't have it. He says, my goal is to hit one cheap shot. Oh my god, we did it. Yeah, I don't think he can hit these guys very well. If you're level 29 and these guys are 34, then, I mean, it's gotta be orange, right? He did it. hit an enemy. <laughs> okay. You gotta laugh at it, because otherwise what are you gonna do? Oh. Not how I wanted to pull that one. I mean, I think he's doing fine. He's out DPSing the healer, and uh, that's what I care about. This, this guy got really mad at the Warlock. <laughs> he was really mad. I, jeez. I could have taunted, I guess, but... Thought a couple of Sunders would get it off of him, but it didn't. I want to charge in. So I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to take him around the corner here. And make him run out. Oh, we didn't get it! Oh, it's because I rebound this. I need to move this back. There we go. Alright, two different sides. I should be able to charge the one side and not have it be a problem. Do I want to do that with the healer with less than half of his mana? Probably not, just in case we pull the other side as well. So let's wait a minute here. That looks better. Oh, there were four of you. Honestly, did not uh, realize that. Might have formed a different plan. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, that was not good. Shield wall? Yeah, shield wall and prey, basically. We need some big DPS to go out right now. Big. Real big. Okay, we just need DPS to stop for a minute. Jeez. Risky fear. <laughs> it sure was. It sure was a risky fear. It was a big risk. Uh, I didn't think they'd get into the other room. It doesn't look like they did, so... 
The good thing is we've got two priests, so like as long as somebody can get a heal off, uh, we should be good. Oh, uh, we can't have you running away. Nice backup heals. Great heals. Great awareness. Got really lucky. Uh, we had a nice shield wall. Uh, this was good. I, I like this. It's fun to come in here with a group that's a little bit underleveled. I mean, that was my fault for fighting it where I fought it, you know? I could have I could have pulled them back and kind of prevented that. So ultimately, I'll take the uh, responsibility for that. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> let's uh, let's get him out here safely. Oh, great! Safely, he says. Safely. What if I do this? Yeah, that made him mad. What if I keep doing stuff like that? Like, what if I just keep line of sighting them around this corner? Kind of prevent a few hits by doing that. Okay, let's let's take a nice long breather now. Everybody can breathe now. And drink, hopefully. Uh, or not. Or not. Nobody relax just yet. Okay. Perfect. All right. So yeah, in here we're we're going to be we're going to be more cautious. We're just going to do this. Uh, is there like... Okay, yeah, well. Body pulling because really, really pro. All right, uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be more careful here. Does anybody need mana? Uh, we're looking pretty good, except for the warlock, and I just kind of accept that they run habitually low because that's part of what their class can do.
Why did the ex die first? And what kind of friends are we getting? Maybe I should have pulled them much further back. Let's fix this now. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get more guys, but like let's fix this now so that from now on when they run they're not running back into that room. Yeah, I, I still want these guys to come back over here. Okay, yep, uh, we are out of mana collectively as a team, so. We got the guys at the door, but somehow they didn't also pull the guys on the left. If we had pulled this other group as well without shield wall, we would have been dead. Uh, it would have certainly been a wipe, unless both priests immediately began healing, and then maybe we could have won a war of attrition over time. Uh, I don't, like, I don't trust this room. Is this room empty? Yeah, the room is empty. Okay. All right, then we are gonna we are gonna go in then. I guess the Warlock's probably just multi doubting That's probably all it is. Which is good. Makes sense. That's probably also why sometimes X dies first. It's because of good multi doubting Alright, this is it. We're coming up on the final boss here. It's been quite a run. I'm gonna fight him kind of near the doorway so we can line of sight his uh, fire blast attack. You will not defile these mysteries. Oops. Yeah, I said I'd fight him back here. Instead, I dragged him to the wrong side of the room. Let's let's reposition. There we go. This is where we want to be. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, at level 35, I can't imagine that the uh, rogue can really hit him at all. <laughs> he's orange even to us, so he's red for the rogue. Okay, well, there we go. That figures uh, both of the really good cloth pieces. I hope somebody here needs these. Yeah, there's a need. Whew. Alright, guys. That was a really interesting run. I had a really good time. I think taking in the low-level group made it a little bit more fun than a group that kind of stomps on the, uh, on the run, you know. Let's get our key. And that will be it for us today. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And uh, a special thank you to those of you who are YouTube members or with me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. It's that support that's going to let me keep doing what I do into the future. So thanks very much to those that do. Everyone take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.